so right now we have the main sewer pipe. It's a four inch um, cast iron pipe. This is old, so it's possibly because it's a tribute from Hurricane Sandy happened years ago. Some of the supports as well. I have a hunch like there was also a backup, which also contributes to the weight because this stuff is very heavy. So with between water, between those things giving out, it just got so heavy that it just, it just gave out. Also, this old pipe was corroded some places on the bottom. And it's just old. It's just, you know what I mean? It gotta be changed. It's an old lead bed pipe for the toilet. This is the drainage for the tub. So we're gonna change this, doing the things at one time in the right way makes a lot more sense. Because you can see there's been some patch up work throughout the years here. But we wanna do things right so he doesn't have to deal with this for another, hopefully another 20, 30 years. Stay tuned guys. Guys, we're actually in the crawl space. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you want to say where the magic happens, but where the where the shit happens, literally. <laughs> so we're actually here in the crawl space. This is actually the main sewer line right here. This is called the main house trap. The top is the vent. This is the main sewer, like I was saying the, on the previous video, in the previous clip. So I just want to show you, you know, nice quick shots of what we did. Our work is clean. It's supported. We have clevis hangers here. It's supported every so many feet, as you guys can see. So we don't have to deal with the weight issue anymore. Uh, we had to take out the old lead bend. 
on the back for the toilet. The sweep here, you clean out, it goes to the toilet, tying into the tub on that side. So, um, so basically what happened here, uh, we had a pipe here that actually fell. And the reason, it was several different reasons. One, they had a, a stoppage in the backup. So the water contributes to it because it actually put a lot more weight onto the actual pipe. Also, from my understanding, the pipe, you know, this is from even before Hurricane Sandy. So Hurricane Sandy was salt, it's salt water, water from the ocean. And of course, the actual hangers, they corroded. And with the weight, it's just, you know, it's a recipe for a disaster. In this case, you know, the, the pipe just let go. It broke, put a hairline crack. You guys can see that it's it's it needs to get done. You know, it had to get done a while ago, but it just finally just gave up. So, long story short, we came in. It was a referral of a referral of a friend. Um, I'm glad we were able to help him out. And of course, you know, listen, you know, people don't realize how important, but it sucks when you can't take a shit. It sucks when you can't take a shower. <laughs> it sucks when you can't use any plumbing. So, plumbing, electrical, roofing, HVAC, these are the essentials of a home. In this case, we're talking about the plumbing. So. I would also advise anybody who's purchasing a home, make sure you guys get a professional to check everything. Those are the most essential, and that's the heart of a house or a home, I should say. So, but if you do need any any uh, any help, you need an inspection done, or some sort of inspection, professional inspection, as far as the, on the plumbing end and the HVCN, you can always call Louis the Boilerman at 516-377-5200. Weba.